everybody, Andrew here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, we're going to be picking up right where we left off, which it has been a while since I played, so... Let's see. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. No, I look at his being all nice to Monica. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah... <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Aw, oh, you so sweet, Monica. However, I've heard enough of the memes to not to know that I don't fully trust you because you're Satan. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. I can't wait for the festival! Oh my god, that's okay, so happy, it's so cute. It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Good point. You sound a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Aren't you saying you don't- Are, are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? I, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Oh, okay. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Mm. Uh, never mind. Mm-hmm. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> You're so cute, Natsuki. Fine, fine. Your, reaction aren't, your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Oh my god, why'd I get an Instagram notification now? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? I call lies and slander. My apologies, guys. My throat apparently hates me. I had to get a drink. But we're back now. Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't, leave it, don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. I don't want to leave her alone. If you say so. I wordly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. I don't like that, and I just kind of want to save... Just, cause, yeah. And I need to get better at saving anyways. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Rhea, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubbery racer up and down her desk. Maybe there is something. 
Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Rhea. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm, al I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club, me club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Ed, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Rhea. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori was always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than if than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Raya. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Well, shit. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I do? What do I know, anyways? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forgive it out. That forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, all right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. I'm gonna save again. Because I need to be better with the saves. Dut, dut, dut. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, the know it. Yep, that's a word. Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Hmm, good question. Who should I show my poem to first? We're gonna go to Sayori, because Sayori's upset and she needs it. Dot dot dot. This is your best one so far. It's really nice, Raya. Er, thanks. Sayori chat, you're making me all blushy and nervous. I, it's, it's hard for me to even say thank you. Mm hmm. Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Mm. Uh, eh? Of course! Everything's fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I'm going to worry. I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Worry! Hey, Rhea. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the... What? What? I, okay. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah... I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait! Of course I do! But that doesn't mean that I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. 
I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to sometimes put up with you. We have a wavelength or something. Do I smell the start of romance in the air? <sighs> I do. It's probably not going to end well. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? N no. Rhea, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sor Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori. I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Raya. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. I don't like this. Sayori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. You fucking better. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Who should I show my poem to next? I mean, I might as well just go down the line here. Besides, I'm, I like Natsuki. She's cute. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No! Gross! It's not like I care. But baka! It's not like I care about you or anything. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's... um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. <sighs> Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> I like you, Natsuki. You're adorable. How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just wash my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. Hey, yeah, wait a minute. I didn't get to read Sayuri's poem. I don't like this. I like to say all even less. Um, I'll be your beach. I'm sorry. All I thought of was, um, V trying to say... Trying to say that. It just doesn't work. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fear that diminished your... That diminished your wonder over the years... But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought, I, thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. 
I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought I had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Aww. I like that so much. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Okay, that is me every time I wrote poetry, so... So many of the poems I write are not happy or negative. So it's nice when I can come out with something happier for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Huh? So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well... It's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of a metaphor- kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. True. Who should I show my poem to next? Yuri or Monica? Let's just keep going down the list. Well done, Rhea. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Ugh. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing or writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need, I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone's enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid the whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Raya? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. It just... I just mean that it, I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sort of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What... what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. <sighs> A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth just thought chastically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an exposure of bliss, but, be but beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same, yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the, fo I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle yet powerful. I, th I, I sink my toes into the ultimate. 
I sink my toes into the ultimate bounty line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the sa peace to erode at the shore. Oh, okay. Drift forward, and I re return to Earth forevermore. Okay. I'm sorry that I fumbled with that. I just... I, di I don't know why I'm having such a hard time reading this. I can write cursive perfectly fine. But then when I have to read cursive for anything like it that isn't mine, or fancy text, I struggle for some reason. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyways, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request, but... Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It could be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Who should I show my poem to next? Monica. Hi, Raya. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> It's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. About how Sayori's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well... Rhea, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I don't like you. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sayori's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? I don't trust. Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Er... All right. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. When all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady, I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. 
The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Well. Oh. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in this club for is writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? I uh, yeah, that! <laughs> Monica no likey. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost having- it's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! Thanks, Monica! buddy o pal -o chum <laughs> Okay, you three! We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out- Hold on a second! Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? And something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri's immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. So you're telling me to save, right? Okay. Done. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. And she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Oh, ah, she actually wasn't. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori, and second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so Monica, tell me! Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Guys, 
Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... Well, that's a little rude. I'm useless. N no! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know? N now that Suki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri! You have beautiful handwriting, you know? You should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she, as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind's already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Rhea. The one who's truly useless. <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be I would really that I would be really appreciative of that. Uh that's Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Ray may not like to be around if you only make him out to be in the burn, whatever. So, so therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Rhea, too. Well, what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Rhea to decide how he'd like to contribute. Right. Save before making decisions. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said. I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Rhea, you're okay with this, right? I want to leave! Selling my soul for a kitty cupcake wasn't worth all of this. In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. I'm, I'm just going to keep saving until it gets to the point. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Saving! But of course, I'm going to go with Natsuki, Yuri, Monica, Sayori. I'm worried about Sayori. I gotta choose Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said, Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? Uh, no. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Uh, but... You wanna take care of Sayuri? I'm a little... Okay, alright. When I started this, I did kind of like Yuri. But I'm leaning away from her now, and... Monica, you're a bit pushy in my opinion, and also... I know some things about you. I don't know anything very specific, but I know some things about you, so I'm gonna go with Natsuki because you're fucking adorable little Sundere. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. 
And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking's a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that... That that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway... You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. I'm sorry, Yuri! Uh... I'm scared. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is going to be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, Rhea? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me! What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. What have I done? I've, I've done something bad, haven't I? Natsuki starts pouting, too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be that. Be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Uh... Natsuki glances back and forth between ev everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances, so... You need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, n not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, would be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori... Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah! Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? He'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? <laughs> Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait! You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to have me do... G that just going to give me the dirty work well i was just saying that it's not like i could act like in front of everyone that i was looking forward to this wait really well kind of 
Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday! Uh... Never mind. Yoha. I can't believe this! Natsuki's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not that we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. Fun day, Sunday. No post on Sundays. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Huh. Actually... You know, this game's been going on- uh, this- not this game, this video has been going on for a good while now. So, we're gonna save right here. Yes. And we'll actually continue recording stuff- we'll continue recording Sunday, Sunday, Sunday in the next video. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope that you're enjoying these videos so far, because I definitely am. And, well, just let me know what you guys think down below. In like, with like, a comment, whatever. I'm curious. And I love getting to talk to you guys and hear from you. Seriously, it's awesome. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are. Now, see you all next time. Bye!